Hello and welcome to World Osprey Week. Thanks for joining us as we discover more about the brilliant osprey, their lives and their conservation. Every day this week we will be releasing a new video along with a fun activity pack for you to work through, including a few challenges and competitions. So let's get stuck in. So ospreys are a bird of prey with a wingspan of around 1.5 to 1.8 metres. That means that their wings stretch to about the height of an average person, which looks pretty big when they're in flight, when we're watching from the ground. But how can you tell that they are an osprey? Ospreys are actually quite distinctive. They have white and dark brown feathers, which is known as their plumage. Their underside is pale with some dark streaking and they are dark brown on the top of their wings and back. They have large yellow eyes which give them excellent eyesight and they wear a distinctive dark eye mask which helps you tell them apart from other birds of prey. Younger ospreys have more orange eyes than adults as well as having lovely pale fringing to the feathers on their backs which can help you identify them. So when can you see ospreys? Western ospreys are actually migratory, which means that they take long journeys in the spring to reach their breeding grounds and return to an overwintering site in the autumn. This means we only tend to see ospreys in the UK between March and October as they come here to breed and raise their chicks before leaving in the autumn. Most of the ospreys that breed in the UK will spend their winter all the way down in West Africa a journey which is around 4,000 kilometres each way. But there are ospreys all over the world on six of the seven continents, all but Antarctica, at least at some point in the year. When an osprey arrives back in the UK in the spring to breed, it will usually return to the same nest each year. In fact, many ospreys, especially males, return to the same area where they themselves hatched and first learned to fly. Often, ospreys will breed with the same partner every year until that partner doesn't return from their long migration or another bird forces them away from the nest. There is lots of competition between ospreys for partners in good nesting sites. If an individual comes back from their migration too late, their partner may have chosen another bird to nest with. Sometimes this can result in them chasing the new partner away from the nest or even kicking out laid eggs. So if you're looking out for them in the spring and summer, where's best to find them? Well, ospreys are a very special bird of prey because they have a diet that is made up almost entirely of fish. This means that you're most likely to see them near a source of water, such as a river, lake, loch or the sea, where they are hunting to catch fish. If they are a breeding bird, the nest will not be too far away from where they hunt. Chicks need to be fed many fish during the summer, so they can grow quickly before leaving the nest. In the UK, most osprey nests are in Scotland, where there are around 300 pairs, but there are a few in the north of England, in the Midlands and in Wales, as well as the reintroduction project being run on the south coast in Poole. You can visit some osprey nesting sites in the UK which let you watch them from a safe distance which won't disturb the birds. Some of these nests have had cameras installed on them so you can watch the nest from home including eggs being laid, hatching and watching the chicks grow. You can find these cameras online with a little help from adults and the websites can be found in our activity pack. So that's a wrap on our introduction to ospreys and we hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the first video, make sure to check out the activity pack from today and to come back tomorrow to learn about the history of ospreys in the UK.